abuse, alcohol, yeah. and early pregnancy is eating disorders. Mm -hmm. yeah, they are very keen on how old do I eat, mm -hmm. what size am I, uh -huh. because other people are going to judge me. Well, welcome uh, very much. This is Dialogue at the Well. We come to you every Saturday at 6 p.m. I'm always your host, Briga Prince, and I want to welcome you in another amazing Saturday where we are going to have another, you know, very wonderful uh, topic on a very uh, entertaining, on a very informative uh, conversation that you can't afford to miss. So we welcome you one more time uh, this Saturday as we get into a very wonderful conversation and you cannot afford to miss at uh, this. And today with us in our studios, we have a very wonderful and a great lady that will be uh, sharing quite much uh, with us. And uh, before we delve into our uh, special topic, I want to give her an opportunity to introduce herself. Welcome. Thank you very much, Chris. I am Jennifer. I'm a psychologist with an experience of 17 years. Oh. And I'm a teacher. No, when we put teaching and psychology together. Mm -hmm. so, so <laughs> Thanks for giving me the invite. All right. And you here. Welcome so much. And, um, Thanks for honoring our invitation. It's a great sacrifice, it's a great honor. And we are so humbled that uh, you have come up uh, for this show. And I want to uh, believe uh, today you got something special, uh, you got something wonderful for our young people. Uh, this is uh, the program or rather the show where we usually engage uh, the young people. We give them uh, the right information. We make sure that uh, because there is, there is so much, uh, our generation is so much uh, are uh, informed, but they carry the wrong information. And that is where uh, we come, uh, we always uh, gather in here so that we can uh, demystify, so that we can uh, break it down to the right information that they need to know, that they need to understand. And uh, uh, today, as you heard that we have a counseling, a psychologist in the house, uh, this is somebody that is well fast, that is well informed in what usually happens around our young people. And uh, as you have been interacting with her and as I was trying to go around uh, our profile, I realized that there is so much uh, that is, uh, that, is uh, that is piled in her about uh, the young people. And that is what we want to engage her uh, today. That is, uh, we want you to, to, to tell us some of uh, the challenges that our young people are facing. Because uh, every day our young people are, you know, so many uh, challenges. And I want you to uh, uh, break it down or rather uh, tell us what is into these so many challenges about young people. Mm -hmm. You know, Prince, when, when I look at the things that you're talking about, the young people, uh -huh. and mostly the, the, the teenagers. Yeah. Because remember, these are children who are coming from uh, young adults. Uh -huh. and they are, I mean, they're coming from young children yes. to be young adults. Mm -hmm. So that, that bridge that is there yeah. is what is teenage. Uh -huh. And we have seen that uh, with statistics now, our teenage is starting from even nine years. Uh -huh. Because we find that children who are nine years are mature enough. Uh -huh. And it goes until to, to 19 years. Yeah. And there are quite many challenges. Mm -hmm. And now in this group, there's one theorist who says that this, this is where that children are, are trying to discover themselves. Uh -huh. They're looking for identity. Yeah. In fact, they go even to, why was I named this name? Uh -huh. so that is the identity they start with. Uh -huh. Again, they start looking at whom do I look like? Yeah. Do I look like my mother? Do I look like, like my dad? Mm -hmm. Who do the other people say I am? Yeah. So they, 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 they start to want, they would want to discover themselves quite much. Mm -hmm. So they become very adventurous. Yeah. So there are so many challenges that they are there with them. Uh -huh. Now, when we talk about this, we can imagine we want to give knowledge, mm -hmm. impact it. Yeah. So that at the end of the day, they're, they're going to be in a stage where they can understand themselves yeah. and understand what they can go through. Uh -huh. And sometimes, you know, when you know that uh, before I get to a place, this is what I can find, mm -hmm. you anticipate, yeah. you are like, if it comes, it will not be a shocker for mm -hmm. you. You're going to be like, oh, I knew this was coming. Yeah. So some of the challenges that are there, mm -hmm. and in fact, they're quite many. Yes. I, I, I realized that away from drugs, mm -hmm. drugs and substance abuse, alcohol, yeah. and early pregnancies, mm -hmm. we have others like uh, eating disorders. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are very keen on how old do I eat, mm -hmm. what size am I, yeah. because other people are going to judge me. <laughs> and, I, and I realized that 
they, they, they are also having, you know, when you go to the screens uh -huh. and they learn so much from the screen mm -hmm. and they internalize that and they are like, I think what I see on the screen is okay, I can do it, mm -hmm. I can execute it. Yeah. That is also becoming a challenge because the movies that they are watching, mm -hmm. they could be horror, they could be, there is a lot of fight, there are a lot of killings mm -hmm. and they internalize that. Mm -hmm. I've also realized that even at back to school, mm -hmm. we are putting a lot of pressure on them yeah. and uh, because they are discovering self, uh -huh. they have so much to deal with. Mm -hmm. So. Their grades in school get a bit low. Mm -hmm. So it is becoming really a challenge. Mm -hmm. I am now it even to the level that they speak at school. Uh -huh. And we are telling them, can you can you write Polish, English, and this way? Uh -huh. And they are speaking Sheng. Uh -huh. And I hear there's another one from Kayole. I don't know what they are calling it. Uh -huh. So you can see a challenge at school is quite much. And uh -huh. even at home, where are we coming from as teenagers? Mm -hmm. What what are the dysfunctionalities in my family of origin? Mm -hmm. That is also another challenge. Yeah. Who are my role models? There is, there, is, there is a certain area that you have been, uh, you mentioned that you have been uh, well, you know, you have, you, have, you have done quite much on that area mm -hmm. uh, that deals with the, the teenage uh, pregnancy. Yes. And that is where mm -hmm. I would want us to narrow mm -hmm. down uh, to, so that we can get to, to, to understand what really is happening, what is happening to our, to our young people and uh, how can we be of help, mm -hmm. how can we be able to reach out to them? Because mm -hmm. our, our main issue, uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned, is to be able to impact this generation, is to be able to help them, you know, uh, not to get to a point of, I wish I knew, at least to help them. Mm -hmm. uh, and I would wish to, uh, I want that um, uh, we uh, probably we delve on uh, to, in, into teenage pregnancy. Basically, what is teenage pregnancy? You know, this is where we find a child, because yeah. we call them a child, they are not yet mature, yeah. who get pregnant mm -hmm. after having an intercourse, a sexual intercourse, mm -hmm. with a person who is mature. Yeah. And sometimes not even very old people, yeah. sometimes even in their 80s. Mm -hmm. But remember, because they are at an age where their body is changing, mm -hmm. their reproductive systems are maturing up. Yeah. So if they have a sexual intercourse, they are going to get pregnant. Uh -huh. Adults are not just um, with, their, with, their, with their age mates. Uh -huh. Some people were even older than them yeah. and others who are even far much older were in their, their grandparents' age. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot I mean there's a, a very wide exposure mm -hmm. of a girl to be pregnant mm -hmm. and their 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 causes are quite many mm -hmm. because sometimes if a girl is exposed for example, mm -hmm. if we find a girl mm -hmm. who is uh, growing up in an environment mm -hmm. at this environment where we have people who are alcoholics yeah. and uh, they are great carers. Mm -hmm. So for her, she becomes very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. A girl who is, who is living with people who are doing drugs, yeah. she also becomes very, um, very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And again, we also see, is this girl exposed to being in private places with people, mm -hmm. men who can take advantage of her? Yeah. I'm talking of maybe where rape can come in. Mm -hmm. And again, sometimes yeah. it's not even rape. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's, 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 she was moved to doing it mm -hmm. by someone. Someone just made sure that because this girl is not uh, cognitively mature, yeah. she cannot make a correct decision. Mm -hmm. There yeah. used to be some enticements, mm -hmm. some sweets, you know, some, you hear them say, Chipo you know, and Rua Chipo. Imagine, mm -hmm. uh, and again, maybe 50 bob. Mingine anasema aliniambia, it's just a, a, a Mm -hmm. And then see, you play other games, even mm -hmm. this is a game. Mm -hmm. So they entice them and they have sex with them. So mm -hmm. away from them, we can have that, that where, where they can be a part of it. Basically now from uh, from where you see, there is a, okay, you mentioned that, uh, that, that teenage pregnancy is a kind of, a, a, okay, pregnancy that is going to, or to apply to these young people that are below mm -hmm. uh, 20 years. Yes, yes. And, uh, okay, before we, we get into the causes, eh? now, who is to blame mm -hmm. for teenage pregnancies? Mm -hmm. Is it the parents? Is it the society? Is it uh, the, the girl? Is it the boy who was involved? Or, or the teachers, rather? Or even uh, uh, counselors like you? Mm -hmm. Who is to blame? Uh, I would say, uh -huh. I, 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 from where I sit mm -hmm. as a psychologist, I'm not blaming you. Uh -huh. I'll talk about I can blame to lack of knowledge, lack of, knowledge. Lack, of lack of information that uh -huh. we give, uh -huh. and platforms. Yeah. You know, if we have platforms to bring forth, uh -huh. and today our society, the, we, we, are, we are mystifying the, 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 the taboo of we cannot talk about sexuality. Uh -huh. Because the African we are, sex is a taboo in uh -huh. every, yes, yes, in every yes, society. Yes, yes. And then again, uh -huh. so that platform that we can have. Mm -hmm. I think it's also a, a platform. I, I I don't blame it on anyone. So, so uh, on on every person, whether it is a, a psychologist, whether it's a is a teacher, whether yes. 
we have a responsibility to mm-hmm. provide a platform for these young people. Mm-hmm. So any person that is involved, whether it is their brother, their big brother, their parent, uh, their teachers, the media rather, like we are doing here, yes. uh, as a responsibility mm-hmm. for young people. Mm-hmm. So what is more or crucial in this is to give them the, the right information at the right time. Exactly. Now what happens in the cases whereby that this is apparent, that is not uh, informed, that is not uh, aware of what they are supposed to tell their teenage daughter. Mm-hmm. You know, you have just mentioned so many platforms. Yeah. Media, mm-hmm. their brothers, their yeah. sisters, the society, mm-hmm. our church. You see, because if we cannot, we cannot just narrate to our parents. Yeah. Our parents alone cannot give enough information. Uh-huh. Because remember, the more we gather from different places, uh-huh. the better information that we have. Yeah. So it is a responsibility of each one of us. Uh-huh. So I'm challenging the society uh-huh. to take to take what to take charge. Uh-huh. That our our teenagers uh-huh. need to hear from all of us. Uh-huh. We need to hear it from church. When the media people come, we need to, can we talk about sexuality and not be like and the African and this is they have spoken for us. Uh-huh. Can you can you can can my brother here as a little girl? Can they tell me? Are they protecting? Uh-huh. I know of a, of a little girl who was telling me that. Everywhere she goes, she turns along her heart on that brother. Mm-hmm. So you see, that is that is a platform for mm-hmm. this girl in terms yeah. of protection. Yeah. So we need to make sure that our, our society bring forth the the, 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 the the information that we have very many platforms mm-hmm. where we can again it is okay to talk about it. Uh-huh. Yes. So every person wherever they are, they should understand that it is okay to address the issue of sexuality to these young people. Yes, yes. What are some of the main causes of um, teenage pregnancy today, mm-hmm. or rather in our society? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One of them is ignorance. Ignorance. Yes, because we don't have information yeah. and we remain there. Uh-huh. And, uh, and you see, the, what the Bible say, we, 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 we get lost and we lose everything in life because mm-hmm. of our lack of knowledge. Lack of, uh-huh. So, you know, when you're ignorant, you will you have no information. Mm-hmm. So if the girl does not know that she should not walk in a bush area alone, uh-huh. you see that's information. Yeah. Nobody ever told her that. Mm-hmm. But if we, if we give her, she will not be ignorant again. Uh-huh. So one of them is ignorance. The other one is, are we exposing our children at very young age mm-hmm. to the society mm-hmm. where people are doing drugs, where they're, they're doing alcohol, mm-hmm. where people are careless? Yeah. What about our media? Is what, what is the media exposing our children? Mm-hmm. So what, what, are we bringing in some um, videos that are phonographic, mm-hmm. materials that are uh, and magazines that are mm-hmm. phonographic? Mm-hmm. So songs. That, yes, songs mm-hmm. that are that, that are uh, sexual oriented. Yeah. On, uh, and, and then again, what are the parents? Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about parents and teachers. Yeah. What are they bringing? What is the Sunday school teacher telling mm-hmm. this child yeah. as they grow up before they get to the preteen? Mm-hmm. Because when they get when they get the preteen and they start experiencing the urge to have sex, mm-hmm. they will know that I was told this is part of growth. Yeah. So I should wait, I should have self-control. Mm-hmm. But you see, because no one tells them that, that is where they, they find themselves. So that is another list. Mm-hmm. Another one is, you know, when, when we when we expose our children to um I'm leaving my daughter. Mm-hmm. With, with her el- with, with my elder brother who's mm-hmm. her uncle. Yeah. And I might I might tempt her. Mm-hmm. What what about what do I know about what my daughter and her friend who mm-hmm. is a boy, what do they do? Where mm-hmm. do they sit? Yeah. Do I tell them not to ever sit in a very secretive place? Mm-hmm. They I, they need to do everything they're doing in the open mm-hmm. where the adults can see to be grateful. So some of these are some of the exposures. Again, we also see that um some of the, 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 the elder people mm-hmm. in our society, yeah. they, they, are, they are like, uh, I think I have no guts mm-hmm. to face an older woman. Yeah. And because I have low self-esteem, I'm talking about the men, yeah. I cannot go to a lady and ask her to have sex with me. Mm-hmm. So I would rather take a younger girl mm-hmm. who I can have power over. Yeah. So can you see and intimidate, that? even yes, in some cases, yes. intimidate. Thank you. Uh-huh. So you see, that man is going to have the power over that little girl mm-hmm. in terms of physically or even cognitively. Mm-hmm. Because this bo- this man can think better mm-hmm. than the, bo- the, the girl. Yeah. So if, when he brings her in, maybe like a 50 ball ball, the, the, the chips, mm-hmm. the dog, or mm-hmm. this girl will be able to take them. Mm-hmm. And you see, that that's also a risk. Because mm-hmm. uh, we need to know where are our men in terms mm-hmm. of their their, their, their self-esteem, yeah. their self-awareness, mm-hmm. their self-worth, 
so that they can be, I can be able mm -hmm. to get to a level that I can. I, I can I can look for a, a, a lady who is older mm -hmm. and I, I negotiate with her. Because this young girl, I, she's just vulnerable, mm -hmm. so I take advantage of her. Now, I, I, I want you to speak to a, a young girl mm -hmm. that is uh, being uh, molested by your stepdad. Mm -hmm. And um, at the age of, um, she's now 14, 14, 15 years, eh, who's being molested by the state dad mm -hmm. with a lot of intimidation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what, what, what happens is that girl is, is being molested. That girl is being put down by a person who has very low self esteem. Mm -hmm. And this maybe could even be coming from the experiences they had as, as children. Mm -hmm. So they are, they could be fish and artificial. Yeah. Then it's like, uh, because someone did this to me when I was young, I would yeah. do it to someone who uh -huh. is young so um, um, so that they can pay back. Mm -hmm. So let us first look at where is this person coming from? This person who is intimidating this girl, mm -hmm. let us know that he has a gap in life. Mm -hmm. So this girl, which, um, you, you know, he will come and he will be like, I have, I have the authority. Mm -hmm. So they intimidate the girl and the girl can Mm -hmm. So one thing, sometimes you happen that uh, you, you find that it has happened. Mm -hmm. So the girl is already molested, yeah. and she is told to kiss them and Yeah. So that girl is supposed to be. I need to know that this is my life. Yeah. I will speak about it. Mm -hmm. Get someone who she is very warm with, mm -hmm. someone who can understand her, someone who will not judge her, and speak it out. Sometimes mm -hmm. they might speak to their parents, and the parents is like. Don't never talk about that. Mm -hmm. That is not that, that is unspoken for us as a family. Mm -hmm. So she needs to go to school. Remember, this girl is going to school. Yeah. Let her talk to her teacher. Because the teacher will be able to go, get a platform mm -hmm. to take the administration, maybe the chief, and how this will be, the it will be addressed. Okay. Yes, because this girl should not keep quiet. Mm -hmm. This girl is very it's pain, she's pained. Mm -hmm. This girl is not mature enough. To experience what she's experiencing, mm -hmm. so she needs to talk about it. When she talks about it, the the the, the person she has talked to needs to report it mm -hmm. because now that's a criminal case. Yeah. And then again, she needs also to go to the hospital. Yeah. Physically, she might be hurt, mm -hmm. or she might even have in some some infections. Yeah. So she needs to see a doctor. Mm -hmm. And again, she also needs to see a counseling psychologist uh, because how does it feel? Mm -hmm. The counseling psychologist will be able to deal with the without her dealing with the emotions mm -hmm. because she needs to deal. Physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Mm -hmm. So it is important. She can even go to church, and in church she gets some. Inform the pastor. Yes, inform the pastor. Mm -hmm. And now our society needs to be very open to can we help this student? Let's not again take advantage of them. Yeah. Because sometimes they go to report to the adults, mm -hmm. and the adults are like, "He did that to you at a mini kuti. Because you find that this child is now very scared, yeah. and uh, when they, they come to anybody, anybody who who comes in their life. They're so scared, they're very helpless. Yeah. So and they can be taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, when 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 teenage uh, pregnancy occurs, a girl is pregnant out there, what are some of the effects uh, to them, to the society, to the, to the people around the parents? Mm -hmm. I'll talk about, about the new day. We mm -hmm. have the uh, physical challenges. The physical challenges. Yes, we mm -hmm. have the emotional ones. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the spiritual uh, emotions, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the emotional uh, effects. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to start with the physical. Remember, this child is still going through maturity. Mm -hmm. They have not matured enough. So you can see their pelvic bones are not yet. Mm -hmm. they, 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 I don't know whether they, this girl can even hold, you know, the, 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 the pregnancy is over 10 kilos. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, she's still very young. Yeah. Her, so her body can't, and uh, her, her, even her womb is not very mature. Mm -hmm. She's holding up a bit, but her. Um, so they are, they are quite many physical. And then again, you know, when she gives birth, mm -hmm. her, her breasts are not very much mature. Mm -hmm. but, so even breastfeeding becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. So even when giving birth, mm -hmm. it, it becomes a challenge. And sometimes you hear the doctor say, we cannot let her get to over like six weeks to yeah. remove the baby. Uh -huh. Before then, because we cannot expose her to, to, to the labor, mm -hmm. because she might not even be able to give birth. Yeah. Sometimes they, they develop the fistula. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, they have the pelvic joints may be collapsing or even something like that. Mm -hmm. So it is physically they really it's, it's a big challenge. Mm -hmm. Then when I talk about the emotions, are we saying as a society? Uh, we are enabling these girls. The society. Behave, no? Yes, the mm -hmm. misbehaved girl. We are looking at her like she's a very naughty girl. Mm -hmm. So before even we listen to her story, maybe she was raped mm -hmm. and it is unspoken for her. Mm -hmm. Someone has always told her, okay, say 
poor. Mm-hmm. So this girl, we don't listen to her story. So we label her, mm-hmm. and we even label her parents. Yeah, they are careless. We label even her church. Hey, we copy your kanisa. Our bondishi watoto. Our bondishi watoto. Our chidiya kanisa. Our chidiya. So you can see spiritually, this child and emotionally is. Is, is really down. Yeah. So we, we, we have them having the negative emotions. Mm-hmm. They are ashamed of what they are guilty. Mm-hmm. They also feel like I am hopeless. What what happened to me? I can't even explain. I I, I didn't even know how mm-hmm. it happened to me. Yeah. Sometimes you find that they, they even feel like that. I think they even get to the suicidal ideations. Mm-hmm. I think the best thing I can do because it's too much, mm-hmm. I should kill myself. Uh-huh. So you see, there they are also those effects. Again, now when they come back to church mm-hmm. and the, the Sunday school teacher is telling maybe the children, now don't be like, you know, she's in the so and so. Yes, you know, she did this and this. Uh-huh. So please don't be like her because you're you are, you are going yeah. to you're, 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 you're going to be a disgrace uh-huh. even to our church. Uh-huh. Someone who can bring out such a statement. Uh-huh. So can you see there's so many challenges that are coming wrong? So they are, they are coming from the, the, the social part, mm-hmm. the emotional part, and then the spiritual. Um, now, as we are winding up, because I'm, I'm informed that our time is running out there. Now, this um, this 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 girl that already got pregnant mm-hmm. is already they already got a kid, at the age of 13, 14, mm-hmm. 15. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll speak to them in a few words. Mm-hmm. How should they survive? What should they do? How should they, you know, associate with others? Mm-hmm. What do they tell the other people? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You know that that is a girl who need to have this self talk. Mm-hmm. But I was not to blame for what happened to me. Yeah. Because as I'm saying, all all or if you listen to the causes, mm-hmm. there's none that that particularly come like I have woken up to go and look for that boy, mm-hmm. sleep with him so that I can get pregnant. Mm-hmm. All I passed through that bushy bushy route mm-hmm. so that I could beat someone who could rape me. No, it doesn't come out like that. Yeah. So this girl should always have the, the self-talk. I have nothing to to, to, to what that I did mm-hmm. that made me to be under this situation. Again, I also speak to her and tell her, oh, it's not lost. Yeah. Remember, now, even if she has a kid, uh-huh. today, she can be welcome back to the school system uh-huh. and be there and um, go to the heights uh-huh. that she won. Let her not limit herself that she's a young mother. Mm-hmm. No. Now they have separated, they have separated lies her and her child. Mm-hmm. So let that child not be a hindrance for her mm-hmm. to, to be who she have wanted to be in life. Uh-huh. So she should remember all oh, is not lost. Another form two girl here is pregnant. Yes. And they have called their boyfriend mm-hmm. that is not mine. Mm-hmm. She is now at the point of um I should abort. Mm-hmm. What do you tell? Mm-hmm. I'll tell them this. You need to want to remember mm-hmm. that. Everything that happens in life mm-hmm. happens in life. Yeah. So when, when, when something happens, you should not sit there mm-hmm. and start wailing. Start, you should wake up and ask yourself, what am I learning from this? Yeah. Because every platform is a learning platform for uh-huh. each one uh-huh. of us. Yeah. So I need to learn that I made a mistake, mm-hmm. fine. But then again, I don't want to repeat it again. Yeah. So, one, I admit that I made the mistake. Mm-hmm. Then ask myself, with this girl, I mean, uh, from two girls, mm-hmm. what can I do? I can talk to my parents. I can talk to my teachers. Mm-hmm. I, you know, it is not easy. Yeah. I can talk to my pastor in church. Mm-hmm. But it is not easy to come there. But you see, when you have the self-talk that I need to move on, mm-hmm. you will do everything that is necessary. because. Among so the people you talk to, mm-hmm. some are going to be very positive. Yeah. It will be a shocker for them, fine. Mm-hmm. And your mother will hold her head and say, you, 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 in your uh-huh. but at, at one time, she's going to sit and say, by the way, I need to support my daughter. Okay. So she then has that her not limit herself uh-huh. being a young mother. Yeah. She can go back to school uh-huh. and, and, and be that girl. She, and she should not abort because life is very sacred. Very, very sacred and very precious. Uh-huh. It is a gift. Uh, out of our time, what is um, w- what can we do to, to to reduce the rate of uh, teenage pregnancy as a community, as a people, as friends, as counselors, as teachers, as me? Mm-hmm. I'll say this simple: Let's have platforms that we can have information about teenage, what it entails, uh-huh. what are the do's, and what are Wow. Platforms that will 
inform our young people, uh, that will inform our young girls, that will inform our young boys how dangerous it is to engage in these things. They need to get the right information at the right time. Now, um, as we wind up, I'm just going to welcome you to do your parting shot uh, because our time is up. I, 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 you know, the society needs to know that mm -hmm. one, 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 once you find a, a child who is in need, mm -hmm. let us think of people who can help them, mm -hmm. people who can stand by them, who can hold their heart and let them get to the, and help them to get to the next level. Mm -hmm. Because remember, they are the, they, they are the, the leaders of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Wow, that has been dialogue at the well. Coming to you every Saturday on Wema TV at 6 p.m. You cannot afford to miss this amazing conversation. This is where we engage you on real issues of life that people are facing, that people are going through. And this is a special platform that you cannot afford, afford to miss. Where um, uh, Dr. Jennifer, I call her Dr. Jennifer, who is a counseling psychologist, is well informed on, on issues of uh, the young people. And she says that what our young people, our young girls need to avoid Teenage pregnancy is nothing else but platforms in every area that they can get the right information that will help them to be able to deal with their problems. So that has been amazing. And you are wonderful people, our viewers. Uh, uh, let us meet again one more time on Saturday at 6 p.m. We are so glad for keeping in touch and for always uh, watching what we are doing and uh, following up on what we are doing. Uh, you can catch up with us always on Mama TV and all our social media uh, platforms. Thank you very much and God bless you.